to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat, and today we're going to be going over how to make a passable, a decent, even a good video using nothing but the old smartphone you happen to have laying around the house. In my case specifically for this video, I'm going to be using an iPhone 7 that I pulled out of a drawer. You don't need fancy equipment to get started making content for YouTube or whatever platform it happens to be. So stick around, more to come. Whoa! Thanks for sticking with us. Before we get too far into the video, I do need to encourage each of you to join in the conversation. If you have any questions, insights, requests, whatever it may be, be sure to leave them there. I do try to get to all the comments on every video. And now without further delay, let's go ahead and get into this entire thing. If you're like me, you've probably done some searching before getting started to see what equipment you needed and what the basic skills are, and you've come across videos on platforms like YouTube showing you how to use $20,000 cinema cameras, or reviewing $2,000 regular cameras, or maybe it's talking about drone skills or something like that, and you're thinking, well, I don't really have $20,000 to get started with this thing. I uh, <laughs> Maybe this isn't the right way to go. Well, I am here to tell you yet again, you don't need fancy equipment to get started making content. Everything charged up, let's head over to a local park to explore the capabilities of the humble iPhone 7. Well, we're at the park, so let's go see what this thing can do. Welcome to my vlog test of the iPhone 7. Beautiful morning, and it seems to be able to capture all of its beauty in stunning 1080p. I think it can do 4K, but uh, it's not as versatile for what I'm trying to do. But as you can see, just fine. You really don't need anything fancy to get started. I'm not even using a selfie stick. Not bad, right? So how did I pull off some of those shots? But let me show you. In order to get smooth motion like in this clip and in this clip, what you're going to do is set your frame rate to 60 frames per second and then just kind of record like so. And when you get to the editing process, you're just going to reduce the speed of the clip by half and voila, you have beautiful smooth motion. And just to show you that I've been doing this particular video for quite a while, here's another clip from when the weather was a little bit different. under the snow. So now let's head back over to the house and take a look at the editing process on the iPhone 7. Okay, so the first step in our editing process on the iPhone 7 is to do some color correction. Now to do this, we're going to go into the Photos app just find the clip we took you earlier, or whatever clip you happen to want to get into. And then what you're going to do is click on Edit. You're going to go over to this thing that looks like a sun with a clock in it, I guess. And then there's all these different things you can do to it. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to take some of the highlights down, maybe, you know. Uh, let's give it a little more shadow, bring out some definition, some contrast adjustment. Give it a little bit more of black point, always good to bring out some definition. You can do whatever you want, I mean it's uh, really up to you. Saturation will bring out some more of the color, go to warmth, yes always nice to give it a nice warm glow. And then the last one I'm going to do on here, I mean like I said, you can be pretty creative with this, do whatever you want, add some vignette for mine, and then just click done and voila, we have corrected the colors, now we can move on to the next step. Now that we've done some color correction, let's go ahead and start putting clips together. Now the app we're going to be using to do that is called iMovie. It comes preloaded on most old iPhones. If you don't have it on your current iPhone, don't worry. It is still available in the App Store. You can go ahead and download it and follow along if you'd like. So once you have the app loaded, you're going to see this screen. Go ahead and click on Start New Project. 
you're going to have several options there. I don't really mess with the other ones, the easy mode. Go ahead and click on movie and then you're going to select the clips that you want to put together for this. I'm going to select one or two here and then click create movie and you're going to have your two clips here. Now you notice that uh, they have things in there that you probably don't want. So the first thing you're going to want to do is cut out the bits of the video you don't want. So click on the clip you want to adjust and then at the bottom of the screen you're going to notice this little pair of scissors. It's going to go like this and have these orange spots. Go ahead and drag them until it gets to the point where you want it to be. And on the other side as well. There we go. Now the clip only has that part. Now we can fix the other clip. Let's see. We're going to drag this so that it's just showing the road and on the other side as well. Oh, we've kind of gone out of that. Let's see. Adjust that. And there we go. Now we have our whole thing here. Let's play it through. It has its own little transitions just in case. You don't have to have those. You can actually take that out, I believe. Let me see if I can eliminate the transition. Yep, you can have none. There's several different options. So whatever you want. Again, with these, you can be creative. Do whatever you want, whatever you feel like you like. And then here we go. We've got our little video. It has its own sound, but let's say you don't want to have that sound in there. You can adjust that. Just go or you think it's too loud. Just click on the clip, go down to the little speaker thing, and you can move the volume however far you want. I uh, typically add in my own audio, so I would probably put the audio all the way down. and uh, Or you can have it on there a little bit if you don't want to go through the trouble of finding sound effects and that sort of thing. Let's see, what else can we do with these clips? I see you can add text if you want. There are some options if you want to use some filters and that sort of thing, but we've already done our own color correction, so that's not necessary. Let's see, what else have we got here? now? we can get into some audio. You may have noticed that I put some music in the background of the clips that I did for this video. Simply click on this plus button and you can go down here to audio. Now there's going to be several options here. You've got uh, my music. Of course it's going to have whatever mp3 music that you have on your phone. Or you can click on sound tracks and they happen to have some things here that you can use. Let's see what this does. Yes, better than chocolate. You can uh, add that to the background and voila, let's go ahead and play this through here. <laughs> yep, very fun music to have for our little drive. Now you don't have to stick with that. There's actually another resource that I want to get into that you might find very useful. It comes from YouTube. Now, as you've seen, there are a lot of options on the iPhone itself as far as some music that you can put in the background, but maybe you're not satisfied with that. There are some other things out there. I know there's a lot of advertisements for sites that have access to all kinds of music that you can get with a subscription, but you don't really don't need any of that because YouTube provides quite a library of available music as long as you have a channel set up. But hopefully you have a channel set up at this point if you're looking to put content online. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the upper right corner where it has your picture for your channel. Click on that and scroll down to where it says YouTube Studio. Go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to see some options over here on the side, the left side. Go all the way down to where it says Audio Library. And then you're going to see all kinds of music available and sound effects, that sort of thing. Uh, for this, we're going to be focusing on the music. You can sort it through all different sort of ways. You can sort it by genre, mood, artist, whatever it happens to be, and find all kinds of music. You could spend forever on here listening to music to see if you can find something that's going to fit for the scene that you're trying to set up. But that is available. And all you have to do once you find what you want is over here, just click on download and voila, you have the music. Now, it can be kind of tricky getting it onto an iPhone, but um, I'm pretty sure there must be some way to get it on there. Uh, if you've got it connected with your computer, if you have a Mac, I think it's possible to get it over there so that you can actually use the app. If you're, you have a computer, on the other hand, um, well, then you probably don't need to be editing things on the iPhone anyway, so you'll have access to that pretty easily. Now, unfortunately, this is not possible on the phone itself. I think that there might be a way if you were to change the browser mode on your 
phone so that it displays the desktop version. You might be able to pull it off that way, if you're even if you're on an iPhone. It can be tricky to get these files onto an iPhone, but um, it's not going to work with the app. You're going to actually have to use the web browser. And there you have it. You don't need any fancy equipment to get started making videos for YouTube or whatever platform it happens to be. You can just pull your old smartphone out and start making great content. So hopefully you don't feel held back after watching this by what equipment you have available. You really don't have to go and get anything fancy. As you saw, I didn't even use a selfie stick for what I put together for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Be sure to leave your comments down below. Give us a thumbs up if you agreed or thought it was a well put together video or whatever. And otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.